it's Deborah. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I am struggling. So I'm trying to keep it clean. I'm trying to keep it simple. I'm gonna make a loaded chaffle. I have a taste for like a loaded baked potato. Obviously, I'm not gonna eat potato. So I'm making a loaded chaffle. So let's hop into this video because I wanna break this fast. I'm hungry. If you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe. Click on that red subscribe button down below. Don't forget to click on that notification bell. That way you're notified every time I upload a video. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. If you love the recipe, let me know in the comments section. Now let's get into this video. So here is a listing of the ingredients. You're gonna need two eggs, two ounces of the chive and onion cream cheese, a quarter cup mozzarella, a quarter cup cheddar cheese, one tablespoon of sour cream, one tablespoon chives, some chopped bacon. I like fresh bacon. I don't like those bacon bits, so I'm making up some bacon while I get my mixture together. You'll need two tablespoons of almond flour, and then one teaspoon baking powder, and then one teaspoon black pepper. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and mix up everything except for the bacon and the chives. Once everything is blended together, the eggs and the almond flour and everything, then I'll add in the chives with the bacon. And once that's all done, then I'll add in the sour this cream. This is the batter with everything but the chive, the onion and chive cream cheese, the bacon and the sour cream. My batter is ready and my chaffle maker is nice and hot and Loaded chaffles, here we go. So when I first started making chaffles, I used to spray the top and the bottom with avocado oil, but now I feel like with all the cheese and stuff that's in there, it's not necessary. Nothing ever sticks on me as long as you make sure you let it cook through all the way. It won't stick on you, I promise. And this is a finished chaffle. It was so delicious, it definitely hit the spot. What I did was I topped it with cheese, some sour cream, some of the bacon, and then some of the green onion. So super delicious. Oh my gosh, definitely hit the spot. I'm. Um, there may or they may not be some of the uh, chive and onion sour cream. Um, cream cheese in between my chaffles it was so delicious i highly recommend this if you're in the mood for a loaded baked potato obviously we can't have potatoes on keto this really hit the spot i hope you guys enjoyed 